Where did they find him? On Third Avenue, outside the shelter. He was uh, found shivering under a few blankets. He was treated for frostbite and cavity, and then social services transferred him to here after he was released. Okay, why here? Oh, probably post-traumatic stress disorder or uh, mild schizophrenia, causing him to hallucinate and believe that he is an angel. Right. Does he pose a threat to the other patients? Seems to have no official history of violence or any arrest record. Mm. Any past drug abuse? No. Um, I'd like you to give me a status check number every 24 hours. This is his room number. Uh, and check uh, his progress with the other patients, doctors, staff, and whoever else you think he has any significant contact with. Dr. Kane, do you like what you do? I'm sorry? Do you like what you do? Yes, Drake, for the most part, I do. I see. It's rare you have a man who thoroughly enjoys what they do. Drake, I I'd like to speak to you about what occurred to you prior to your coming. Are you a man of faith, Doctor? Religious man. Let's get back to what, what brought you here, okay? Faith, doctor. Faith is why some people become garbage men rather than scientists. Mm. It's why people live and why people die. It's why I'm sitting before you as you record and analyze everything I'm saying to you right now. You see, doctor, you and I are both a part of God's work. You're a doctor, and you intervene in people's lives every day. You help people, and for that, God is grateful. What I'm saying is that we're all here for a reason. What reason is that? To help each other. Good morning, Lucy. How are you today? Good. It's time to take your medicine.
Dr. Kane? Yeah, you better come down here. It's Drake. He and Mary. What? Well, they're all in a quiet room. Now! Sweetheart? Did Drake physically hurt you in any way? No. Did he try and touch you? Yes. Where? Drake, you understand why we put you in there. You were heard talking with Drake before this happened. Do you remember exactly what he said to have sent you? No. Just kept looking at my arms, trying to touch them. And then he told me that they had come to for a salvation. I was only trying to help her. And he told me that he was looking at my arms. And I just couldn't. But you really upset her. upset her as much as she's upset herself.
Craig, I'd like to ask you a personal question. I mean, you don't have to answer me if you don't want to. Just a curiosity, if you will. Do, uh, do angels have a reasoning and an understanding of what they do? Or uh, is it a, a conditioned response you know, in a being of, uh, of a higher authority? Well, we've never liked the stigma of being benevolent beings. You humans have so labeled us during your existence. We prefer the term the watchers, or better yet, observers. A medium of God's power is perhaps the true definition of what we are, what we should be defined as. God's power is unlimited. Do you have God's power? <laughs> no one has God's power, just their own. And choosing what to do with it is something every person, every living thing must decide for themselves. They must prepare themselves to follow their path. There's precious little time in this existence. Tell me about what happened with Mary. What happened with Mary? Did she... Did she Choose her path. What happened with Mary was exactly what was supposed to happen. And what was that? She faced her demons. She realized what she had done. The physical scars had healed long ago. I just helped her realize that. Now she's realized her purpose. And what's your purpose, Drake? You know my purpose, Doctor. Same as my purpose.